I've been reading, as we all have. You can't pick up anything, your computer, or magazine, without hearing about AI. But regularly, we see the problem of data silos. And that could be the storage system it sits in. It could also be organizational, that a business unit or human has a data silo that they don't know how to share with a larger AI initiative or organization. And so that idea of now that we want to use data, not to store it, having it in silos is bad um, or uh, is, is certainly going to slow down your initiative. But we also need to figure out, okay, great. I want to kind of put that data in motion and start to move it to the applications, computers that need it. Um, maybe David, you can start here and talk a little yeah. bit about why data orchestration is so critical and a little bit about what we're doing at Hammerspace. Well, that's right. I mean, it's it's one thing to get access, and that's been talked about is for these different systems, you need access. But access is meaningless if it doesn't have high performance. And the only way to get performance is if you actually move the data and have data in close proximity to where you're going to do the computing. You know, and the, and the other corollary here is that the computing is no longer general purpose processors. It's at least GPUs, if not other future exotic processors, and these have to be done at scale. So really, you have to uh, reposition the data across the infrastructure to be able to use it in these different applications. Not enough to, to uh, access it remotely. And that's why I think what we're talking about here is a very fundamental paradigm shift. In eras past, data was made permanent through storage, and then you accessed it over a network. Uh, and we're talking here about orchestration, where fundamentally the presumption is that data is always in motion and you need to simply be able to have consistent, continuous access to it, even while it's moving. And that movement of data while you're accessing it is what is enabled uh, through a technology like Hammerspace, where the file system uh, can span and sits out front of everything. Then the movement is done from behind the facade, from behind the data presentation layer in a way that doesn't disrupt it. And with that, it can be both push-based on policy, proactively positioned where you're going to need it in advance. And this is where you can actually use AI to help determine those, those things in advance. Uh, and then it's also reactive uh, to the need of the data. And what enables all of that is the principle of granular encapsulation, the fact that you're moving it down to the individual file. And so these concepts of orchestration actually overlap with compute orchestration in the container world. Uh, it's the same kind of principles of, of lightweight encapsulation, granular, and, and the ability to, to move things. And we, we have to get to a world where data is orchestrated uh, versus where data is stored. You know, David, I, I, I'm just going to jump in because I, I absolutely agree with all of that. I mean, you know, just kind of building off of what we're seeing in our research at the Enterprise Strategy Group, uh, you know, for example, 50% of organizations are around that say, look, they're, they're moving data across locations all the time or regularly. Like this is, a, this is a common thing that people are having. So not only are we becoming distributed, but all, or not only are application and data environments becoming more distributed, but movements happening all the time. And organizations need to accelerate that or make that simpler. But the fascinating thing, and this is something that we're, literally we, we just got in a study and it, it blew me away. What's really interesting is in addition to the distribution of data, you mentioned this idea of you want the app close to the data. Absolutely, you do. I mean, that 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 reduces risk, it reduces cost, it speeds up performance, it provides a better application experience. I think we can all acknowledge that. But what was fascinating is how few organizations actually have a process in place or an organizational paradigm in place to where they actually achieve that. So one of the things that I've been tracking is this, what we call rise of distributed applications, which is an app where, you know, the app may reside in like one cloud provider and the data resides maybe on premises or vice versa or something like that. 98% of organizations identify that they have some level of distributed apps in their environment. And the majority of organizations we polled have over a hundred of these inner cloud connections or cross location connections. So essentially where they have an app running in one place and the data somewhere else. And so you just think about all the problems that creates around cost, around management, around you know performance challenges. And when we looked into why, one of the fascinating elements of it is 40% of organizations say, look, our organizational structure, how we make decisions and where we do things and who owns what, 
there's just different processes in place. So the point of it is, yes, you need in this ideal world, we need data and apps close together to, to provide a better experience, reduce cost, reduce risk. And you would think architecturally organizations approach with that in mind, but often due to the organizational dynamics, it doesn't happen at the beginning, which only increases the importance of being able to move it easily after the fact. Because once you well, spin something up, you need to be able to move it. You bring an interesting point because, you know, I've always thought that it's interesting because data is the very definition of digital. It's the thing that lives in the virtual, right? And, yep. and yet the computing side is what is tethered to, you know, actually racking and stacking hardware and having to um, glue it to our physical world by providing it energy, right? And and so you want to you you really end up needing to move data to the compute instead of the old conventional wisdom of move the compute to the data. And now compute has to be at such a large scale that and potentially exotic processing. And so it really becomes even more incumbent on us to be able to move data to the compute instead of vice versa. And yet that old wisdom of move the compute to the data prevails. I hadn't really thought of it as an organizational problem, but you have that as well. And then there's the fact that some of these things are only available in certain clouds. So you have to actually put the app in this cloud because the, the let's face it, the cloud vendors want to go up the value chain and offer things of more value, offer more applications. And that means you're having to get the data uh, uh, to the respective uh, cloud where it wants to run. So all of these things are begging, you know, to get that magic of the co-location of compute and data, we have to free the data from the silos and make it mobile so that the data can follow where the computing needs to happen instead of the other way around. Absolutely. And I, I think one of the reasons why the adage is move the app to the data is because, I, you know, you know, frankly, you guys have great technology to move the data that's not available in a lot of places, right? So it's- That's right. That data gravity that mindset, that perception persists. Um, and, but yeah, absolutely. And the, re the reason for that is that in the past, to move the data, it's different data. It's a copy. It's a fork in time. It's a different thing. And it's dead. It's no longer the living asset. It's no longer going. To, it's, it's, a, you know, it's a fork. And, and that's why you really can't get that many-to-many -many relationship of the many different data sets to many different applications that you need. It's no longer one-to-one -one where you build a silo to support an app and you build another silo to support an app. Now we need to get access to all of those silos with a myriad of different applications and tools in different facilities. And that many-to-many -many means that we can't be managing forks of the existence of the data. Yeah, absolutely. And, and the reason why I bring up that distributed that organizational stat is in addition to all the problems you know I, I think there's just a perception where most people believe oh that doesn't happen very often in our environment because we're going to always make sure apps and data is in the same place and that and that's not true at all organize organizationally often it's very difficult because people can't see you know six months or two years or five years ahead yeah. of which app's going to need which data. So at the bottom line is really the only way to solve this is simplifying the movement. 